We did it, guys. We're here. We're here. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. And that is also unfortunate. Uh. Oh, oh, I just, I just got yeeted. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? Mm-hmm. The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Okay. That's not great. Uh, let's go this way. Video. Graphics are medium. Yeah, everything is as it should be, so I don't know why it keeps crashing. Because I've ran through this whole game before on just medium graphics. Make his breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? Who knows? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. <laughs> we could try telling them they're in the wrong place. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyrone Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Here we are. Really? D do we have to? We actually? Like, is this a thing? Do we have to do this? Well, looks like we do. Going straight in there. That's any good respecting no human wood. Oh, if we can even find it, that'll be easy. I have to literally, like, manually tell Alistair to heal. It is not a fun time. Why? Stop. Oh. Yay. You're dead. Beacon's over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quick. Quick. Quickly right. before it's too late. Okay. Uh, wait. Is this the beacon? What? What's the beacon? Where's the beacon? Is this the beacon? Oh, this is the beacon. This is the beacon. Okay! I'm just hardcore rushing this, to be fair. I want to get to Belgard, and I want to get to Inquisition action to Solus Romances. But what about the king? Should we not- Do as I command. That's threatening. He can't be serious. Pull out! All of you, let's move! No. Why? I, I'm actually- I don't know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. I, I'm doing this for you guys, though. This is just so stupid. So incredibly stupid. No. Okay. Oh, and Duncan. And Kayla. Oh, come on. They're so dead. They're not coming. No. <gasps> That's violent. You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry. I'm tired. You've got to be kidding me. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. That's why I said it wasn't worth it. That's a lot of blood. slaughter. This isn't a battle, this is a slaughter. He's gonna go out fighting. Oh no. 
Wow. Morgan. I feel like I gotta sit up Your straighter. Eye is finally open. Mother should be pleased. Yeah, sitting up straighter. Oh, what happened to the dark spawn? I remember you, the girl from the wilds. Uh, yes, where am I? What happened to the dark you spawn? You were injured, and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Not particularly. Wait, what happened to the army, to the king? Yeah. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The dark spawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. <laughs> Your friend, he is not taking it well. Alistair. Jeez, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. Oh, he's worried? You, you're alive. <gasps> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm not, thanks to Margaret's mother. Afraid you're going to be left alone. But I'm fine, I appreciate your concern. Takes more than a few darkspawn to kill Duncan's me. Dead. The Grey Wardens, even the King, they're all <laughs> dead. Oh. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the witch of the wilds, aren't you? She's much more that than mean? that. I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, as more it not. More than a bit. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Mm -hmm. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Maybe. Archdemon. What could the Turin hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The landsmeet would never stand for it. There will be civil war. Al Eamon, the Earl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Um, surely there are other allies. That sounds like an excellent idea. Keep in mind that Logan was also an honorable man. Everyone will see the danger the Blight poses, right? And say he doesn't help us. What then? That sounds like an excellent idea. Oh, such determination. How intriguing. I still don't know if Al Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Surely there are other allies. Or so the Grey Wardens, nothing we can do. Other allies. Of course! The treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Love it. Go to Red and these other places and build an army. Why not? Isn't that where, what Grey so Wardens you are set, do? Then, ready to be Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. What makes you think we want her? Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Her point. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well, we'll take her with us. Was this your idea all along? She'd better be as useful as I say. Very well, we'll take Not her with us. Too look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. <laughs> Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. 
They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. She sounds like I she knows something. Understand. She really does. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Denerum. Ooh, capital city, I'm guessing. Uh, and I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. <laughs> I love that someone's asking these questions. They got you. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. Despicable. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Yeah. Understand this. I'm happy to move my legs. I will this is put so no threat okay, to this nation from you Gosh, or sexy. anyone. We will take you down, Logan. You best believe it. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Mm -hmm. Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. That is Did not he true. also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? I love that guy! Love that guy. Well... There it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> right. Very creepy. Forget I asked. I love these two. Just get to the point. What did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. Oh, come on. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so- Morgan! Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I mean, she's not wrong. Um, have you some thoughts on the point, Alistair? This should be good. Oh, shut I up. I think Sorry. what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Yes, I have. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of yep. Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I think so, too. Um, do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Uh... He was like a father to you. Understand. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it. Not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. You didn't. No, I understand completely. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. No. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... My entire family was just murdered recently. Oh, oh of 
course. How stupid of me to forget. It's okay. Here I am going on and on about Duncan and you I am so No, sorry. it's fine. Really? I mean it. It was good to talk about it at least a little. Maybe I'll go to Hyrule with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Um, let's I go have a over wonder, here. Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is ha! this a policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Didn't he you is. fall into a bush somewhere and die? Ha! That would be great, thanks. Wow, okay. Uh, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for... Melana! Liliana? No doubt. Melana. Liliana. Liliana? They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Oh, come on. Um, it looks like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. I don't need your help, miss. Let's talk this about this before things I get out of hand. Listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar. No, you didn't. When a turn saved us from the Grey oh, Warden's treasury. Well. I serve him gladly. You're stupid, Enough then. Talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister. And anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Okay. Let's make this quick. My, all right, you've won. We surrender. Good. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? Um He'll have to do I'll better than this. Right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I appreciate what you tried I to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of Liliana. the sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I can I never pronounce her name. Very well. I will not turn away help when it is offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. What? Thank you. What? I appreciate being Why do they hate chance. her? I will not let you down. Okay. Uh, sorry, dog. Slay Lana. Oh, that's, that's me. Slay Lana's turn. You want one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. Okay. You're a prisoner who put... I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been okay. placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. I'm also pleased to meet you. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. Oh. This is a proud and powerful creature trapped as prey for the darkspawn if you cannot see a use for him i suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone mercy i wouldn't have expected that from you i would also suggest what that to take his place in the cage oh yes that's what i would have expected i suggest you leave me to my fate hi lana can you just yes you can On my way. and so it is done <laughs> we'll follow you into battle in doing so I shall find my atonement. So, I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about? Who have failed at As their religious deserve. instruction? I didn't fail, I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denerim in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. <laughs> Have a care where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that 
captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? What? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Those two, I love them. Ask away. So you said this Arl Eamon raised you? Oh, did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Uh -huh. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Right. <laughs> really? That was so tough for them. That would explain the smell. Well, it wasn't until I was eight that I discovered you didn't have to lick yourself clean. Old habits die hard, you know. So does a horde of dark spawn, mm. I'm told. Point taken. Let's see. How do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. Mm. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Our Lehman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was mm. good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. You were young. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been, the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well loved by the people. He also was King Kalen's uncle. So he has a personal motivation to see Logain pay for what he did. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. Let's get out of here and get on with the main quest. Oh, Dark Spawn. <laughs> Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Um, I doubt you went to travel with the Grey Wards. Grey Wards? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, Dad. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Oh. Dragon. My stomach's like growling right now. I'm so hungry. I've not Bad eaten today. Dreams, huh? It seems so well, real. It is real. Sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon is that dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate that's it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. <laughs> Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. After I pet my doggy. Oh, why you little? <sighs> what? What? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He spat at me. Look. Okay, there's hardly any blend drawn. Still, he shouldn't have. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Don't forget to like this video for more Dragon Age content and hit subscribe. 
then turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss another one of my uploads. Bye! I'll see you in the next one.